I've been playing sports since I was little. Uh, I remember being out in the front yard. I just wanted to play anything, just whatever I could get my hands on. He didn't want to play uh, flag football because he always tackled people. The strength, the power, the strike that he brings is second to none. He would dominate individuals across from him. He had five sacks in the last two games alone. Just that feeling, that rush, that uh, adrenaline, the feeling I get. Uh, it's just addicting to have, man. Last year, I made all-conference fullback and all-conference defensive end. Being able to squat around 400 pounds and bench 300. It's what he's always wanted to do, play college and be in the NFL. I just love the contact. I just love being physical with people. I know there's a chance of getting hurt in football, but that's the chance you'd take playing the game. In Warden, Montana, a town of less than a thousand, far away from everywhere, football meant everything to Coney Dole. Coney's always been an athletic kid. Coney is one that uh, is very caring. He was always out there, you know, play hard, hard ball. That's why uh, his coaches love him so much. Tries to be a role model and, and lead in a positive way. Coney's dream, not unlike the dreams of many high school boys across the Treasure State, to one day suit up for the Montana State football team. All it took was one play, one play to crush those dreams. In a game against rival Shepherd High School, Coney Dole's Huntley Project Red Devils were down six in the fourth quarter. That's when one play changed Coney Dole's life forever. When I broke my leg, it was the last game of the season. We're on defense, looking for a stop. My leg was planted, play flow was coming my way, and someone uh, slid into my leg or something. Coney got caught up in a play and just piled on. There was a pile up and Everybody got up and he didn't. And it just snapped it right in half, just hit it just right. And I didn't want to, you know, didn't want to believe it was broken. When I got closer and I saw, you know, the bone out of his skin, and I realized it was a very serious injury. So. I picked up my leg and I looked down, it's just hanging there and that bone sticking out. Next thing I know, I'm getting rushed off the field and rushed to the hospital. They didn't say it was anything serious. They just said it was a uh, bone placement. They tell me that he, he'll have surgery first thing in the morning and that they're going to put a rod in there. I thought everything, you know, going to be back to normal as soon as the swelling goes down. The next thing I know, what's supposed to be two days in the hospital turns into two weeks. It took five surgeries to reset the bone, but complications emerged. A severe infection caused the muscles in his leg to deteriorate. Numbness and pain increased at an alarming rate. Coney was left with a decision, save the leg and live with complications or amputate. They finally told me that uh, there was an odd chance that I was going to have to amputate my leg and it was my decision and I felt like my best chances at playing again were making that decision of just losing my leg. As a father, I failed to protect my son from that harm at the hospital. You know? The choice to amputate was not easy. Coney's choice came down to the decision that would give him the best chance to return to the football field. Once I got out of there and just kind of woke up and looked down at my leg, just like felt like I was in a dream. Like I just wanted to wake up. You know, I didn't want to believe it for a while, but I realized that uh, I can't go back and change it. I lost 60 pounds in uh, the two weeks I was in the hospital. I don't think I've ever seen him that skinny. The doctors wanted me to come back for physical therapy, but I went about two times and then I felt like they were holding me back, so I quit going. And I just would work out here with Coach Huss, with Coach Croyer. Me and Coney had a natural connection because Coney, Coney loves working out. He loves hard work. And that's kind of the thing that I've always thrived for. Coney began to work. With the season opener just eight months away, he was determined to prove his doctors wrong. They said rehab alone could take up to a year, but to get back to the field in that time seemed near impossible. I've just always believed in working hard. I wasn't gonna not succeed because I didn't work hard enough. You know, he may spend two to three hours in the weight room every day during the week, and you'd have to push him out. I'm just thinking about that, uh, the guy I'm competing against thinking that he's working harder than me, that I always want to be a step ahead of him, and that just helps me push myself harder and harder every day. Obviously, it wasn't easy by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, anytime he was getting down on himself, I'd kind of be like, hey, it's easy to quit. And any kind of comment like that, you could see his eyes kind of hone in a little bit, and he'd just go, he'd go for broke after that. The weight room's like a therapy, like it just gets my mind off of everything. You know, once I step in here, 
Just like when I step on the football field, my mind just clears and I'm just focused. Just 10 months after breaking and ultimately losing his leg from a horrific injury while playing football, Coney Dole prepares to step onto the field once again for his senior season opener, a task that once seemed all but impossible. I would never count him out. Every time I throw those pads on, it's just a privilege to be out there, you know, because I know what it feels like to have a last play. I'm out there for a purpose now. Probably the first time I've ever been nervous about him taking the field. It took him a, a lot of hard work and effort, but he got there. Very proud father. In his return, he scored two touchdowns and recorded a sack. Everyone gets butterflies and jitters for a game, but I get them every day now, every practice. This made me a lot emotionally stronger. You know, it kind of humbled me a little bit. It made me appreciate what I have. You know, this brought us way closer as a family, and I've never seen my dad so emotional. It was a very emotional feeling for me to see my son play football again. Despite the loss of his leg, Coney's play has brought him one step closer to his dream of playing for Montana State. The head coach there sent me an email saying uh, he wanted to offer me as a preferred walk-on. That's all I wanted was a chance. I'm very proud of him. He's a tough kid. He's going to inspire a lot of people. You know, I'll take it as far as my body will let me go, but I know that my mind's going to get me farther. There's no excuse for anything. You know, nothing worth having in life comes easy.